Hey gang, Michael here, the Fix Link. Thank you for joining us on this week's Sunday's market preparation videos. It's technically Saturday. I uh, decided to make this video earlier on because of because of my Sunday. I'll be doing something else, um, which is not trading related. Um, basically, as I go over the weekend, the market is closed. This is a time to refresh, restart, and prepare for the next weekend, so you can have a general overview of what's going to happen uh, the next weekend. So I'm going to give you a uh, some technical analysis on this pair Aussie dollar, also known as Aussie. Mainly, when I do my preparation for the next week of trading, I mainly li like to look at the strength of the currencies overall. Um, what's the strength of the of that currency? Is it weaker? Is it becoming stronger? Is there any sign that uh, I can deploy? I can take advantage of this particular pair. Right, and then um, do some technical analysis and look at the news. Bear in mind, I don't trade the news. I just like to be aware of what's going on in the market so that I won't be rattled off when um, some particular news happens whenever I have an open position on my trade. All right, as you see here on Aussie dollar, uh, Aussie dollar has been consolidating for quite a while now. Starting from, let me starting from july 2017 till now we have been consolidating from the range of 81 uh, 35s the extremes of 81 40s to the lows of 75 15s and as we get closer right here the market finally uh finally went down and came to our support levels um technically when the market is consolidating i like to put my rules simple i buy low and sell high looking for signs of exhaustion as i look for uh, my timing right when it comes to technical analysis i like to separate my technical analysis into two parts right the predictive analysis and the reactive analysis the predictive analysis uh, mainly uh, judges where, where the market could go and how to be prepared when the market goes to that similar direction that you think it would go and react at right and the second part of my uh, analysis is my reactive analysis which deals with mostly timing right because it's it really sucks to have the right prediction and end up having the market leave without you so one of my majors uh, my major uh, factors in tried in timing our advice is look for your personality right it goes with your personality are you mostly a conservative person or are you an aggressive person as you see right now uh, i already have drawn my technical tools and i have an abcd pattern terminating at this point uh, let me check if we have a fibonacci structure level a fibonacci level terminating right there we have a 1414 extension terminating right there let me take another one from this swing low back to this swing from this swing high excuse me from that swing high back to this swing low and back we have a 1618 uh aligning with that 1414 extension exactly back at this structure level which is our support level right here and as you analyze the support level we have we have some type of uh, respect in the market which is our support support and then we have some little bit of uh, resistance right here we have a resistance resistance then another support level uh, support support we have another support right here and we have uh, resistance support and it goes on and on and on and on and on and on, and on right another support so this this level proves to be uh, respected in the past right but it doesn't mean that whenever we take this trade it has to uh, give us some type of relief right here which is uh, a trading opportunity that i'm looking to buy right now so my trading bias right now is i'm looking to buy this market in anticipation of a relief maybe back to these levels at 76.61s. so as i go to the lower time frame um Mainly, this is a major. Uh, this is a structure. This is a structure based. This mainly this is a structure based trading opportunity. 
and as you see right now as soon as the market uh headed back to these levels of structure right here we have a lot of momentum coming off right there then we started to have a lot of choppiness um as soon as we channel down right here mainly a channel for me is a sign of exhaustion in the market right see this uh do you see this lift uh this part of the move right no sense before the market had had channeled down and let me bring in my uh rsi indicator back excuse me guys right when you see this part of the move uh what do you begin to notice compared to this move we have right here right there's a lot of smoothness of the sellers sellers momentum was high compared to this level of structure now it's beginning to wane as it goes down and we we see some a little bit of evidence of bias right now um, entering into the market right now right and as we go down uh, we begin to have a bullish divergence on our chart uh right as soon as we had this level we began to be oversold and the market has been going down but we still have a bullish divergence as uh, our rsi gives us a higher high while price action is giving us lower lows which gives us a sign which is another sign of a loss of momentum in sellers right so now that we have a break above close above this channel right now um if you are an aggressive trader you might be looking for taking this opportunity uh right now or I'll be looking for a higher higher high close in order for you to be safe and putting your stops lower than this low right here okay and i'm naturally a conservative person so i'll be looking for at least a retest at these levels of structure when I go to my lower time frame right now, okay. As part of my reactive analysis, I forgot to say this. Um, it really depends on your technique again, on your technique on how you enter into the markets. Do you look for higher highs, higher closes? Uh, do you just say, hey, if price does hit these levels of structure, and I'm seeing uh, an evidence of a waning, an evidence of loss of momentum in price, and then I'll be placing a limit order. And buying in anticipation of these re of a retest of these structure levels with stops uh, lower than this low right here okay or do you say wait i'm i'm a, I'm a little bit more conservative so i'll be looking for a retest which is what i'll be looking for right now uh if you could pay more attention this let me zoom in okay i'll be looking for a retest of, of these lows right here which would give me a 786 retracement right here do you see it right now bam uh at least a 786 or a 618 retracement coming back to these lows right here which is at the end of this channel right now okay then i'll be looking to take a trade in anticipation of an up move a retest of these structure levels and if you wish to take extended targets you you could take these extended targets back to these to that end of that to the beginning of the consolidation we had right now which would yield a total of 73 pips and a, a risk of 11 pips down which would give me a 28 pip risk on this one and which is a which is more than one is to two risk to reward and i'll take these uh, type of risk to rewards each and every day now bear in mind when price does reach these levels of structure and retest at these levels of structure, I'll be looking for a higher, higher, higher close in order for me to enter. If I don't get that higher, higher, higher close, I'll be still be looking to be patient. On my big testing process, I see that if I don't get the higher, higher, higher close, most of the time the, the market isn't finished with its maximum adverse excursion, which is another topic that we will talk about some other time so i hope you liked this video and if you did please hit that like button below share this content with as many people as you can and subscribe to our channel this is my here fx link and i'll see you on the next trade goodbye